Okay, I want you to Google her name. Her name is Dorian Corey. She's a famous drag queen among me in the closet and baffled mystery and stuff. Now, I want you to Google her name. This is back in the day and stuff. They always talk about women who paved the way. She definitely paved the way for me because she was she was a trans woman. But the thing about it back then, they didn't call trans women trans women back then. They used to call them drag queens and other things and stuff. And I want to share this story about her, her life and stuff because I'm celebrating her as of today. Definitely because it is gay pride. Now... A secret girl were not were the only thing. A secret girl weren't the only thing stashed in Dorian Corey's wardrobe. Now, this is this is um, a famous drag queen, a mummy that was in the closet that baffled the mystery. Now, Paris Burning um, was Dorian Corey was uh, in the still of Paris Burning in October 1993. Lewis Taylor entered a Harlem apartment of Dorian Corey, a drag performer, dressmaker who died of AIDS two months earlier at the age of 56 years old, accompanied by two men searching for Halloween costume. Taylor and fellow New York drag queen and caretaker Corey in her final days was hoping to sell them a small fraction of Corey's wardrobe. They ruffled through fabrics and feathers in sequence before they encountered a large closet where Taylor said the sight of a musty green plain garment bag folded over the floor pitted like a um, collective interest. The only way to, I only weighed about um, 135 pounds I could lift that thing Taylor told New York Magazine in 1993 resigning her powerlessness to find the zipper Taylor handed a pair of scissors to one of the men only to learn um, that what the curious mass lacked in the portable to make up for the distance um, Malador without inspecting further Tyler called the police peeling through the multiple layers first the bag fabric a tight excuse me a tape wrappers wrapping of what likely a type of fork fox leather and plastic detectives reveal a grusty sight a partially mutilated body of a fetal position is formerly known as a complexion now purple and yellow his ears were um cartilages vessels blue and white boxers shorts tatted with a bullet hole in the head in case without the letters, detectives rail, rule observed the detachable pull tabs from flop top beer cans, which primed the United States rage from the 1960s to the 1970s. Despite the technical hurdles posed by decades, Figueroa managed to um, extract fingernails, fingerprints from the corpse. The body was identified as Robert um, Bobby Worley, born 1938. The only instinct records for Worley life was criminal. You hear that? His life was criminal. He had been arrested and raping and assaulting women in 1993 and several three and several and served three years in prison. But mostly counted he estranged by his family and hadn't been seen since the mid ninth since the mid late eighties. Coupling with um Ferrero pull tabs dating methods, detectives concluded the shooting must have happened at least twenty years prior. Superficial clues might detect that Dory Corey had little reason to engage in a violent crime. A graduate from the Parsons School of Design, she had a knack for graphic design, which she portrayed, which she parlayed in repute as a customer. In a Harlem drag ball scene where veteran drag queens and young breakdancing and voguing counter counterparts participated in the tongue cheek pageant to showcase humor, irony, and ambition through performance. Corey was Corey was um, Stackworth a diva. 
Her experience led her to mentor and support young drag queens at the Mother of the Drag Family, the House of Corey. You led many of your friends not very much money. And give advice sometimes if someone's got evicted or whatever she... I mean, you might have them in. She explained back in 1991 episode on Joan Rivers show. And she said, What stands in miscus contrast gruesome employments improper um, excuse me implications in her closet perhaps is Corey's demeanor the most expensive extensive video footage of Corey was in 1990 Jenny Levinston documenting of Paris and Bernard examination examination of the forefront of the ball culture in interviews she was witty realistic and unflappably in contrast and inspired models and households she had self pose cadence what's world worldly observed and ensured her to um completely mainstream audience everybody which everybody wants to make an impression some marks upon the world she says in a film then you think you made a mark on the world if you just get through it a few people remember your name if you shoot an arrow and it goes real high hooray for you it is appeared from the interview and the alleged soundness of her life which whirly the guy she killed that Corey was um was also guarded. Consider the attention. Consider the tantrum with the circumstances and the discovery of plenty of questions remain. Why might she have committed murder? What was the relationship to Robert Worley? How and why was the body preserved and not disposed of despite a lack of evidence and sources who are still living? Many queens who knew Corey had subscribe to either disease or violence these questions have provoked a number of theories through the idea of now falling out of the favor some polls that Corey was protecting the the real murders of 1988 between the probable time of Worley and the Corey's death Corey moved from her apartment in on 150th Street in st. Nicholas Avenue to one local loca located 10 blocks over on uh, West 140th Street the notion that the body was in a closet before she moved the hypocrisy goes more that of Dorian lurging a corpse from one home to another others maintain credibility that Worley was a burglar who broke into Corey's home Propping Corey to act in self-defense. Corey lived later in 20th century Harlem where violent crimes ran rampant. Livingston recalled numerous gunfights outside of Corey's apartment doing interviews for the film for her own protection. She squirted on the gun. Her friend Jesse Torrey affirmed she had a little 22 in an interview shortly news at the murder surface telling Corey had alleged attached a note to the body reading this poor man broke into my house was trying to rob me furthermore the family suggests a possible reason she kept the body a blank drag a blank excuse me a black drag queen who lived in a poor dangerous area in the 1960s or 70s who had chance of garnering sympathy from the police prevailing sentiments however contents that Corey and Worley had a she built a relationship that reached a tragic conclusion in a crime of passion, according to Taylor. Corey wrote a short third person story about a transgender woman who's killed her lover after he brow browbeat her into having sex assignment, a sex reassignment surgery, hair written on a piece of paper, yellow with age. The story seems at least loosely autobiography of Corey had breast implants and probably taken a female hormones and was 
prep for reference as far as her life, including the Pearl Box review as touring drag queens. She performed in 1960. The additional clues pointed to the, the um, <clears throat> um, additional clues to the um, supposition Tori had relayed that Corey hospitalized and in a haze of AZT and morphine had confessed to her friend Sally in Corey's final days that Richard Melman, whose upcoming play, Doring's Closet, explored the story it says that according to a police interview with Morley's brother Morley showed up at his brother's house one night drunk and he was going on and on about Corey. Then there was a sort of collaboration that he was in a relationship and did not know Dorian. Indeed, any, indeed, any relationship that had that was for um, Rex Flowers, whose one man play out of the bag plums the second of Robert Worley, suggests that Worley may have struggled to rec struggled to reconcile reconciled the pressures of appearing in masculine and straight with the attraction to Corey lashing out at their at the um her bouts of frustration being in a relationship with someone who was abusive would make sense as an explanation especially when you're talking about when men are attracted to trans people he said my sense is that we're talking about someone who might be closeted about this homosexual as well as Excuse me, as so there might be, they might have been all kinds of internalization, hatred, and internalized oppression. My sense of it is that it is a dangerous situation that Dorian needed to get out of. After the body, mailman, prostate, uh, postulate that Corey's fearing disposing of it would be too conspicuous of con Justin Manhattan covered in a bacon, excuse me, covered in bacon soda and wrapped tightly to neutralize the inevitable odor. Of this decay, where if the chemical reactions likely rendered an um, mature uh, mummified job. I don't think she was. Uh, I don't think she had a criminal mind. She didn't plan the murder. And when it happened, she had to think fast. He said, in the mind of someone who commits a crime and passion, what kind, what kind of makes sense? Still, how did Corey get away with murder? At least three factors may explain Corey's consistency, cool and grace and worldly arrangement from the family and the lack of documentation about his life and the suppression of Corey's stretch but perhaps the murders abstract this primary old to the fourth factor that the orphan of an invisible invisibility of two poor sexual complex black people navigating internally and externally turmoil in 1960 and the 70s America um, a defining answer remains exclusive and probably always will it's unsurprising Corley was a part of a highly marginalized world and her life, even the part right from the campy Tyloid's headlights, attracted to <clears throat> attracted little attention still. Whatever brought those two together and whatever happened the day of Worley's death, Dorian Corey has made an impeccable mark. Okay. So I just want to share this story with you about her and stuff. Wow. So now you know. You know, for all you girls out here who who got can't that can't find a man, and then you find a man, and these guys are coming from criminal background, um, according to this article. And basically, um, according to this article, he he. He raped a couple of people. He done a lot of crime and stuff, and you know he had like a sick mind and stuff. And he got with her and stuff, and he had an infatuation with her. And <sighs> it's deep. So clearly something happened at night, and clearly they got into it. And clearly, my opinion, she put a bullet in him. 
And she killed them. Now, I don't condone killing nobody. That's not what the message is. But I want to share this story with you as far as my little two spirit sisters out here who's going through something. Don't get so desperate, you gotta take anything. But at the end of the day, sometimes love is love, and the ones that come out of prison be the one that love us the most. Because sometimes they don't give a damn. But at the end of the day, sometimes that frame of mind is really fucked up. And you may be looking at somebody we love, and you may be looking at a crazy motherfucker. And at the end of the damn day, she was a smart chick because she had a protection in case he got out of hand. Like I said before, I don't condone violence. And she shot his ass and put him in the closet. And she kept him there. And she was not going to jail. And I did this story for you, boo, because I knew you were going to watch this. And I did it for you to let you know that, yes, the girls get tired. And after a while, they are going to start paying these guys back. I may not be here when it happens. But at the end of the day, it looked like it's been happening way before we are. Because we're talking about something back in the 1960s. And here it is, 2018. And the girls are still going through it. And this happened um, back in 1990. And, you know. Anyway, I love your feedback on this. The girls be going through it because these men can't stand in their truth and their sexuality and stuff. And then they all coming home and treated out on us and taking us through all these changes and stuff. And at the end of the day, we're not punching back. We're not somebody you could just walk all over. And at the end of the day, mother's lit. Miss Dory and Corey was not having it, in my opinion. He came in there and started some shit up with her and probably was beating on her. And she just pulled the fucking gun out and shot her, allegedly. Just my opinion, because I know the girls like me who go through all these changes and these guys all this mean shit to us. And we supposed to just smile and grin, take it. Baby, mother's lips. So this video is to you, Miss Dorian Corey. You sounding down from heaven. I'm saluting you because everybody salutes somebody. I'm saluting you because you're a mother, you're a woman of my own heart. Because when enough is enough and you said, fuck it, kill them, put them in the fucking closets, and when I die, you'll find them. How about that? Anyway, I love your feedback in this. <clears throat> and I don't come on down as you know I kill nothing with me. <laughs> mother lip. Anyway. I love to hear feedback on this. Like I said before, um, if you have a story to make up, you can email me at ravenover at yahoo.com. At the top, there's an Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. I'll let y'all love you and thank you for watching. Get story.